It used to be that if you wanted to carry stuff on your bike, pretty much your only option was to get a set of racks and panniers. But things have really changed, I would say, in the past 10 years, with bike bags starting to become a lot more popular. Of course, each are better for slightly different things, and depending on what type of rider you are, you may like bike bags or you may like panniers, so let's see which one is best for you. Shout out to Wobby Cycles for sponsoring this video. To learn more about the bike that I ride on a daily basis, the bike that's so good that I only have to own one bike, check out Wobby Cycles linked in the description. And to learn about how you can get the most fun out of your bike in 180 seconds or less, check out me and Wobby's video series Three Minute Thursday by clicking the card above or by sticking around to the end of the video. To see whether a good old fashioned bike rack versus bike bags are best for you, we're going to compare them on price, ease of use, carrying capacity, ride quality, security, and of course, looks. Now, racks, they're made of metal versus just canvas on some bike bags. Racks are going to cost more. For example, I got a super, uh, albeit really good looking and fancy, and it brings my heart joy. Simworks Obento front rack, which is fillet braze and has like really smooth joints. Like it's really great. But that's also a $200 front rack. Compared to the bike bags that I've been using from Lead Out, shout out to those guys for sending those over for me to test out. Their mini frame bag costs $70, and their handlebar bag, which I've been using as a saddle bag to great success, only costs 40 bucks. That's 110 bucks. And that's just for two frame bags. If you want even more carrying capacity, you still have a lot of budget to work with, and that's just with the rack, not even including the basket. Bike bags certainly take the cake when it comes to being the more economical option. And they also take the cake when it comes to ease of use. Bike bags are more or less a one size fits all option. It doesn't matter if your bike doesn't have the mounts, it doesn't really matter the exact dimensions of the bike like it does with racks. You just strap the bags on and then you're off to the races. Or if you want to keep your bike nice and clean, they're also really easy to take off. Bike bags are just really flexible solution to add more utility to your bike when you need it. And even if your bike is capable of taking racks, you may even have to do some more, uh, a bit more advanced bike mechanic things like measuring struts and cutting them with a Dremel. But the whole point of bike bags versus racks is that you need to carry stuff when you're on your bike. And that's where racks really shine because they are so flexible in the way that they can carry things. You could put a basket on, you could just strap things directly to the rack, you could put on panniers that clip on and clip off easily so that you can take your stuff with you. Personally, I absolutely love when I have a basket on my bike because it just adds so much more utility to the bike. It's almost like going from wearing pants that have no pockets to wearing pants that have four pockets. They, you just like it a whole lot more and you could wear it more places and do more things with it. <laughs> As you can see in my front rack, I have my entire sleeping system for bike touring along with two locks. That's about like 10 pounds of gear up there. And the fact that I could just toss it all in and secure it with a cargo net makes it really easy to carry a lot of stuff with racks. With bike bags, on the other hand, you have to be a bit more careful with how you pack things. And even then, you're limited to how you pack things. Because with the rack, you could stack things up high. You could carry bulky things as long as you can secure it to the rack. But with bike bags, you're limited to what you can stuff inside the bag. And depending on how much you need to carry or what you need to carry, that may steer you in one direction versus the other. For example, I go grocery shopping on my bike. There's no way that I could buy a carton of eggs if I was using bike bags versus a bike rack. Of course, most bikes are going to ride the best when they're completely unloaded, unless you're getting a touring bike. In that case, you probably already know that you want racks since those are designed to ride the best when they're loaded down. But ride quality is a toss-up. It depends on your specific bike and how it responds to being loaded. I will say that after riding with bike bags, and a bike rack, I do slightly prefer riding with a bike rack, even if it is heavier. Because with a bike rack, it keeps the load lower to the ground and it makes it feel more secure and less sloshy, like how having really stuffed bike bags can feel. And while you can carry a fair amount of stuff with bike bags, like with a big frame bag or a big saddle bag, the problem there is that the load is pretty far high up the ground and that can make the bike feel a bit sloshy in turns, which is especially important for me since I ride a fixed gear and it is, you absolutely need control over the handling of your bike in order to ride fixed gear safely. But on the flip side of that coin, having all of your load on the center line of the bike instead of hanging off on the sides can make your specific bike handle better depending on the type of bike you have and the type of riding that you're doing. So it's really a toss up here. Next up is security and this category goes straight to bike racks. With bike bags, although they are super convenient to put on and off, that also makes them 
it's super convenient for thieves to take off. So I don't find bike bags to be particularly useful if you are a commuter or lock up your bike in public. With bike racks on the other hand, you could throw on a rack bag or panniers and easily take your load with you when you're locking up your bike, making them much better suited for commuters. With great convenience comes great insecurity. Something I like to do with my rack is just load up a little sling bag and throw it in there when I'm on the bike so my back doesn't get sweaty and then take it out when I'm locking up my bike. That flexibility with how you can pack your bike rack also makes them a lot more secure. And last but certainly not least, we're all, we all, we all care, okay? We all care about how our bikes look, okay? And at the end of the day, in my eyes, and I'm sure in a lot of your eyes, bike racks look better than bike bags. As convenient and as easy to use and as useful as bike bags are, there's just something that feels a little bit improvised about them because they try to be a one-size-fits-all solution. For example, on my bike, the lead-out mini frame bag doesn't exactly uh, cleanly fill in the lines because they're trying to sell these bags to the average rider with the average bike so that and make it fit those dimensions. And I'm six foot tall, I ride a 58 centimeter frame, so their bike bag does not look great on my bike, especially with that gap. Man, that bothers me. I love this bag, but that gap, yeah, it's just it's just wasted space. I could fit like two more cliff bars in there if I had a bike bag big enough to fill in that gap in my frame. And I know you can get like custom made bike bags for your bike and fill in the exact dimensions, but even then, the feeling of having things strapped to your bike instead of bolted onto your bike, also still makes it feel a bit improvised. Whereas with bike racks, it bolts onto the bike and it looks like it's part of the bike and it becomes part of the bike and that utility becomes part of the bike. I absolutely love the way front racks look with front baskets, especially this fillet braised nitto front rack, my gosh. The, the tubing on it is just really elegant and the fact that it is so darn useful to just chuck things into the rack in the basket, it just puts a smile on my face. So out of our six categories, we have three points for bike racks, two points for bike bags, and one point that could go either way depending on your situation. Racks, I would say, are best for like heavy bike tourists. If you're gonna be gone for like six months at a time, yeah, you're gonna wanna carry as much stuff as possible <laughs> so that you can survive while you're on your bike and out in the wilderness or wherever you're going. <laughs> bike racks are also best for bike commuters because of the security and grocery getters because you could just chuck things in there. Like, I'm, I'm not putting eggs inside a frame bag. It's not happening. <laughs> bike bags, on the other hand, are great if you have a bike and you sometimes like to do a longer ride and add some utility and carrying capacity to it. Or if you wanna do light to medium bike touring, and I know there's tons of people that do like really extreme bike touring with just bike bags, but that's just the way I see things. A rack would be better for that situation. Let me know your thoughts. How do you like to carry things on your bike, excluding a backpack or messenger bag or something of the sort? If it's on the bike, do you prefer a bike bag or bike racks? Let me know in the comments below to keep the discussion going. And Fixie Famous shouts to Thane Berg, Brandon Black, David K, Gio Dezera, Julian Corona, Ryan Witt, Scott Polonghi, and Zane Kolnick for helping to make these fixier videos possible through the support on Patreon. And remember that life is short, but don't make it shorter, so, be sure to ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous.